What up? All right. This this was wild. this was a wild one. Um uh, so everybody's gone. I'm dead tired, so I'm going to bed shortly. This will be a short stream, but I thought it'd be good to talk about what the fuck just happened. So we go down uh stairs. Me Mario movie star fingernails. You've all seen the tweets by now. If you haven't, oh boy, go check Twitter. So we walk downstairs, me, Mario, Flimsy, Rob, and we meet up with another fan down there who's got a, you know, a location on John. And he's in the B bar, the center bar in the Borgata. And we're like kind of like hanging back, just talking and laughing. We're watching him wander around the bar. He's wand he was wandering around the, the center bar. So finally we're like, all right, we're gonna do this, let's do it. So I just walk up and John's there. And John's walking around the bar trying to get noticed. This is literally what he's trying to do. We we watched him for several minutes before we went over. He's circling the bar, phone up. Elbow up, you know, guys who talk like this on the phone, the elbow's way up. <laughs> and so I walk up, and I see him, and I just go, John, John, what's up, baby? And he walks away, and he comes back, and he goes, are you going to Paul? He comes right up to me. We're, we're reaching distance, and it's just me and him. Uh, everybody else is kind of standing back. And he's like, are you going to apologize for what you said to my kids? And I keep saying to him, like, you know, I'm sorry you got hurt. Like, they're jokes. It's a podcast. You say a lot of shit on your podcast you don't mean. You say a lot of shit on your podcast you don't know. You know, you're just talking shit. And he goes, are you going to apologize for what you said to my kids? He's not even hearing the words that I'm saying. And I said, I'm sorry you got upset, but John. And he just walks away. He just walks away. He storms off, and he goes to the far side of the bar uh, and sits down. Now, he sits down where he can see us. So we all get a drink, and we're standing there, and some of us are smoking, and we're laughing. He's over there at the bar drinking, drinking, seething. You see him just watching us laughing, having fun. There's five or six of us at this point laughing, having fun, joking around. 10 minutes, 15 minutes. We're all just standing there having fun. John's watching us. We keep, everyone keeps going. It's uncomfortable. Everyone keeps going. He's just staring at us. And you just see him over there drinking. Just getting angrier. Just getting angrier. He stands up. And he comes over. He walks down the steps over to our group. There is one female security guard uh, at the entrance to the bar by the steps. So John comes up right to me and he goes, Are you going to apologize for what you said to my children? And I tried the thing again. Like, John, I apologized on your stream. And I'm here to say I'm sorry. I'm here to squash this. I'm here to make peace. I'm sorry that I offended you. I'm sorry that I hurt you. But I'm not saying it right. You hear what I'm saying? I'm, I'm apologizing for the wrong thing. I'm apologizing for his interpretation of... And... You can tell he's very drunk. He's having trouble walking down the steps. He's he's wearing a, a blazer and he's all... And you! Now, a couple of people said that his breath was... I didn't know that this was a thing. John's smell? But a couple people said his breath could take the paint off a of Chrysler. Um, I... As he's, as he's in my face yelling, you better apologize. You never talk about my kids again. You better apologize. And of course, I'm not. You know, I'm trying to say, I'm here to say I'm sorry that you got upset. I keep like saying that. And I'm not apologizing correctly for him. And it's making him angry. And we're all laughing and just having fun. Everyone's in a good mood. And this is getting him very, very upset. And um, he goes to like do a two finger on my as high up as he can reach on my chest yeah, he goes to like I think like goes to like you gotta apologize and I just kind of like I had my hand up and I kind of like I don't even think it was on purpose I think I kind of knocked it out of the way just kind of like talking with my hand and I've got a cigarette in one hand and I've and you know I'm 
I'm not in a fighting stance. And at that point, I realized, like, oh, he's going to swing. I, I knew he was going to swing. He was, he's drunk. He's angry. And I, he wanted to fight. Uh, another fan stepped in named Sean and tried to, who, who originally started as an SJ fan, and tried to tell him, like, yo, Stuttering John, I like you. You know, I've loved you forever. I want to buy you a beer. He, he looking past that. He's not even hearing that. I think he said to him, actually, after he said that, I think he said, like, get out of my fucking face. He's talking to, like, strangers like this. He's, he was incensed. He was eye of the tiger. I was kind of turned, and I was ready for him to, like, hit me. And he, I knew he was drunk. I'd watched him stumble down the stairs. So I'm just, I'm going, if he if he hits me, I know he's not going to land it effectively. I know it's not going to hurt. I know it's not going to, before it could ask, like, Peter Sky Parker, David Skywalker, got right in between us that's what you see on the video and started like pushing him back i'm genuinely trying to de-escalate this you know in my best bitchy effeminate voice john calm down balance yourself you know i'm saying all this stuff and he's just not none of it's landing and so peter sky parker and sean and a couple of the other guys start like pushing him back and he starts screaming like you talking about my children you fat fuck you better say, you better say my, you better never talk about my children again. You better say I'm sorry about my children. And it's just, again, he's not, he's not getting the apology he wants. I think he really thought he was going to like bully me into an apology. Like, well, yeah, that's what I thought. John appears to just be hanging out alone. Yeah, he's not allowed to be near me. He's not allowed to approach me. Um... So we just kept hanging out at the B-Bar because he wanted to hang out at the B-Bar and they made him leave. And they're like, you can't go near him again. Don't go near him. Um, so, yeah. John's hanging out alone. I'll tell you what happened after he left because we had some spies and it's worse than you think. Before you know it, this female security guard, I guess she called for people. And before you know it, there's nine security guards there. I know that because I counted them. I was like... There are nine security guards here all of a sudden. And I mean, like ninjas out of nowhere. And he just starts, Stuttering John starts um, justifying his behavior. And he's like, he, he talked about my kids. So he's like fighting security guards at this point, like trying to get to me. Like not fighting, but like, you know, like push, like he starts yelling in that video. Like these guys are following me around. They won't leave me alone. I walked up to you because we knew where you were. I tried to have a conversation. You walked away. And then we just went back to our group. And then you went over and had a drink. And just got in your own fucking feelings and seethed about it. And then came over to start a fight. We so all the security guards come over. They split us up. Um, they take John over. John starts. I'm not kidding you. Ask Peter Sky Parker. This comes out of John's mouth. I'm a celebrity. He says it. I wish I had my scream echo voice. I'm a celebrity. I'm stuttering John Marenbe. To which everybody went, hmm? What's that now? 